Welcome back to another episode of The Playlist. You already know what it is. It's my, it, my name is Kalisha, mm. and we got Armani Big White Marco. in Big. the <laughs> building. Yes, ma'am. What's good, man? I'm so excited to have you here. I was supposed to interview you BT Weekend, yeah, uh -huh. and life was just lifing. What happened? <laughs> I was just... Okay, so... A friend of mine got uh, surgery, ooh. so I went out to Miami with her to take care of her and then came back out with her literally that same beat, week of BET. I had yeah. to run around to all these events, and then I was taking her to this appointment and that appointment. I was like, Mike, I was like, my, my life right now, I just <laughs> I just need to take a pause. I don't know Can how we reschedule? I don't know how y'all do LA like on an everyday oh, basis, especially like working in it, like I gotta come in, do my little thing, and then get up out of here for a second. Like, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm literally tired. Just is so many events, so mm. many things to go to. Then you got your life. I mean, same with you, right? Yeah. You you gotta run around and do the same thing. Events, what? award shows, this that. I'm studio. On, I'm running on like one and a half hours of sleep Are for like serious? the past week. <laughs> <laughs> like it's been bad. It's just like every time I think I got a moment, I'm like, I don't know, like my my brain. Something, something he's telling me that I'm like, yo, if you just finish all this stuff, then you can relax. Mm -hmm. And I know it's just like an endless list of things that I need to do. Mm -hmm. So then I just start trying to finish it all. Burn out. And like, yeah. <laughs> I was just telling someone like that uh, that yesterday. I was like, I am burnt the fuck out. Like, burnt. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm burnt sure. because I think recently a lot more people are talking about that life is short. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot more people are talking about it more. I think with like mental health and all those conversations happening, mm -hmm. like life is short. If you really think about it, right. you know, like you don't say your age or anything, but I'm almost 30. Like I'll be 29 this month okay. yeah. and I'm thinking about my future and I'm like, dang, almost 30. And then what, another 30 years, I'll be 60. And then, <laughs> you know, like what's life going to be like then but and you gotta think like, kids. And <laughs> you got to think like, like, cause I was like, when I, when I, when I was 20, I was like, you know, Oh man, like in another twenty years, I'm gonna be almost forty. Right. Like twenty years is a long ass time. Really like, <laughs> like for you, if you say I'm gonna another thirty years, I'm be like, as if like thirty just about to go go right yeah. past you. Like you got another thirty years. You think about like you know, I don't know, being from like a kid, like a baby right. to right now is a long ass time. You got it a lot is. of time. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of years, I was snooping on your IG and I saw your Billboard article and you wrote hey. like a whole paragraph just about like everything from your start. And you said you've been doing this 10 years. Yes, ma'am. 10 yeah. years. So yeah. walk us through that journey of that 10 years. Like what did that look like? So I just, only reason I say 10 years, it's been way longer than 10 years. Really? The only reason I market at 10 years is because I had graduated um, high school around 10 years ago. Oh, like, okay. It might be a little less than that, but I graduated high school around 10 years. So I'm like, I remember leaving high school being like, okay, cool. I want to do this full time. Like, and once, you know, at the high, if you ain't, if you ain't become somebody cool in high school, like at that point, it's like, oh, you rap, or got it. Like, were, you, were you a cool kid in high school? Oh, no, I was cool as hell. Yeah. But like, okay, I'm, I'm saying like, but after that, <laughs> right. you know, like most of all, all the cool kids, they ended up, you know, they, they started smoking cigarettes and then got mm. some girl pregnant and live in the neighborhood. You know, how, you know how the high school should go. So like, so, <laughs> so at the, you know, like, like, just I had to run, I had to campaign with that. Like I had to be the rapper for so long when everybody was like, "Yeah, you rap." I never heard a song from you. Like you know right. what I mean. And, and so um, I don't know. Like like for for me, it, it was it was stressful for a while. But yeah. like I I think my entire life, I've always kind of just had it in my head. I was like, "No, nah, I'm cool as hell." Like <laughs> right. like whether they know it or not, I'm cool as hell. Like right. I do some cool shit. So. I just, you know, like I like I think that reassurance that like that daily like self affirmation is what kind of just kept me going through mm. throughout the years. That's so I, I'm honestly being self motivated and like mm. keeping yourself on that track is hard. Oh, for it sure. is not easy because I remember, you know, my journey has been kind of like 10 years as well. Mm -hmm. And I have, you know, like you, you have mentors, right? And people right. that kind of guide you along the way. And I. Every time I would, you know, run into my mentor, like, are you, are you sure? Like, I should keep staying on this path. Like, yeah. did you have someone like that in your life that was like, no, Armani, like, this is what you're supposed to do. Like, this is what you're supposed to do. Was it just really all you? It was a, it was a lot of, like, self-motivation, self-mentorship, self-therapy. But I did have, a, like, a few guys that just kind of stepped in. And just, like, yeah. you know. And then, then it was just, like. I just had a lot of conversations, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like, so, like, there was a lot of people who I just talked to, and I would just, like, you know, like, you sitting in your, in, your, in your crib, you sit in the studio, you sit wherever you sit at, like, by yourself, 
you don't get to hear shit. Mm-hmm. So like like a lot of times I would just go in the studio. I got my guy Mike, uh, who I used to record with in, in, in New York, and we would do like twelve hour sessions, and like eight of them was just us talking. Wow. Like just like us, just like picking yeah. each other's brains, like where we are in our life. And for a lot of them things, it was just real good for me, just because. I got to hear myself out loud mm-hmm. and hear where I was at and, you know, hear how I was thinking about things. And it just helped me understand what was going on in my life a little better. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, like it was a lot of it was a lot of self-therapy, but through, you know, the mm-hmm. guidance of other people, through talking mm-hmm. to other people. That's important. That's important because this industry can it can put you down a dark, dark, dark uh, hallway. Uh, yeah. oh, it really can. Yeah. It really, really can. But listen, you're at a place now that you just signed a crazy deal yeah, with man. Def Jam <laughs> and you're going viral, not only for your music, but you just gave your mom $100,000. Yes. Like, what? <laughs> that is so cool. Hey, that was a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but she deserves it. Nah, she deserves it. it. She yeah. deserves it. She like, sure deserves she, it. Like, just, you could, like, I just I've seen the video twice. I saw it first when I want to say Say Cheese posted it or okay, something like yeah, that, yeah, and then uh-huh. Our Generation posted it today. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh my God! Like I've never seen this much, this money. much <laughs> money in my life." And that one yeah. that made me want to cry. Right. No, no, because no, no, no. I think that the fact that that was like kind of like the first thing you did was yeah. give your mom some mm-hmm. money. That was insane. But what did we? What happened that we did not see on camera in that moment? Like, what um, was what happened after that when you gave her that? Did she cry? Oh like, yeah, she she sat like there's a there's a longer video. I just like oh you know it was only yeah. I could put it in a reel, but she sat down on the in the street. It just like held the oh <laughs> the gosh. bucket and she was just like crying and like you know like I I could, like couldn't believe it kind of thing. Yeah. And I was like yo like get up. <laughs> <laughs> this is yours. Let's do this in the house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was um. Yeah, like like I, like I said, like she deserves it. She bought me my first mic when I was in, um, I think, tenth grade, wow. and I kept telling her, I was like, "Yo, just let, just trust me, just trust me. I'm gonna make this thing happen." And then mm-hmm. apparently, I sent her a text message last year that said, "If you give me a year, I'll be your sugar daddy." I don't remember saying this, <laughs> but it, it, it sounded like something I say. So um, yeah, I don't know. Like I like now, I'm a sugar daddy. I'm I'm, I'm taking care that. of her. Uh, <laughs> well, how does that feel? Because I know that's probably was always your plan. Like I want to yeah. take care of my mom. I want to make it. I want to take care of my mom. But yeah. does this feel feel like surreal? that it's like happening and it's happening fast a lot of it a lot of it feels like work um mm-hmm. and not not in a bad way mm-hmm. not like a, a but it's just like you know work as in like I worked really hard for all of these things right. so it's not like uh like a, it doesn't feel surreal in the sense of like oh I went viral I went like I said mm-hmm. I've been doing this for 10 years and 10 years and and um and a lot of it just feels like oh, okay you know you put the key inside the car it's gonna start <laughs> you know what I mean so it feels like okay I worked this hard this is what happens when you work this yeah. hard and and you know and I'm doing all the things that I felt like was necessary for me to do once I you know once I got what I said I was gonna get like a lot of people you know you like oh, when I get the money I'm gonna take care of moms and mm-hmm. I don't know it was the first thing that came to my mind I was like I'm oh, gonna no, make sure she's good no that's dope so mama mama got the bag now got you the got bag. the bag now what? you're Def <laughs> Jam I want to know because this the first thing that comes to my mind when an artist signs mm-hmm. is that now your career like you still have c- c- you know control over your career but now Absolutely. it's kind of in someone else's hands in yeah. a way. Uh-huh. Are you nervous the fact that now your career is in someone else's hands? You have like a team, the people you're just meeting. Yeah, I meet I meet so many people every yeah. week. Uh, <laughs> um, I think uh, uh, I think for me. I'm very hands-on with everything I do. And the people, the, the reason I even went to Def Jam specifically was because they understood that I was very hands-on with everything mm-hmm. I did. And that I was like, yo, I need to be able to steer the ship. Like, I mm-hmm. need to at least be able, like, you know, like, you guys can actually, like, hold the, you know, whatever. But um, I need to at least be able to say, like, this is the direction I want to go in. This is how I want to do it. This is where I want to take it. And they were just completely understanding and open to That's that. And, and so, you know, I walked in with a bunch of music. I walked in like, this is who, this is what, you know, what I sound like right now for the Billie Eilish record. This is what I'm about to sound like. This is the direction I'm heading in. And I need to know if you're going to stand behind that. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yes, mm-hmm. and, you know, so. Um, so, it's, it, yeah, it's a little bit of both. It's like, you know, you have to put your trust in people um, who you just now meeting. But at the same time, like, I know if nobody else gets the work done, I'm going to get the work done. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That is dope. I'm going I'm to start using that yeah. quote. That's hard. Nobody else going to do it. I'm going to do yeah, it. Yeah, so. right there. <laughs> Write that one down, y'all. Write that one down. Now, not only does, you know, Def Jam have so many nice things to say about you, but I read. 
<laughs> you're dope. You're great. I mean, you know, your team works hard for you. Like, yes, I, I tell Mike all the time. If y'all wondering who Mike is, I keep saying that. Mike it works at Def Jam, and he yeah. brings me all the interviews of all these amazing artists. But, and trust me, he works hard for everybody. But yeah. when it came to you, he was like, he's back in town on this day. Let's yeah. reschedule it. And he, like, really made sure it happened. So, when I say they say good things about you, they mm -hmm. do, and they, they work really hard for you, too. Yeah, they no, really they do. do. They do. And, um, but I was saying that to say not only do they, but Billboard does and Rolling Stone. So Billboard said yeah. Rookie of the Month and Rolling Stone said on the radar. And that's yeah. quotes. That's, that's what they have to say about you. How do you feel that now Billboard and Rolling Stone is talking about and These are like these prestigious, like really big name things, like, I, it, and this is where it starts to become a little surreal. Yeah. It's just like, dang, like I wanted y'all to kind of mention me for so long. And it's like, again, yeah, you know, this me. is what happens when you work really hard. But goddamn, like, right. Right. <laughs> um, it's, it's cool. It's, it's, it's really cool, uh, for lack of better words. Like I, but it, it's just, um, I think of it like touchdowns. And like you can celebrate the touchdown. You do a little dance. Mm -hmm. and she might Dougie or whatever. But <laughs> at the end of the day, you got to get back in the game. You got to exactly. keep playing. You got to keep playing. I'm like, so I'm like. For me, I'm like, okay, Billboard mentioned me. How do I get on Billboard? Or like, you know, once we get on Billboard, how do we get another one on Billboard? How do we get it? You know, like, I, I'm just, I don't know. My, that's just the way I, I, I think about things. I'm very appreciative of everything when it happens. But then I'm like, all right, by the time I reach my peak, I'm trying to find a new mountain. I'm trying to, like, keep climbing, trying to go to the next one, and time to, yeah. you know. But, uh, sure. but yeah, it, it feels really good, though. It feels really yeah. good. I mean, the timing's everything. And yeah. I think now is definitely your time. You said that, you know, you've been doing, like, you've counted at 10 years, but really it's been longer mm -hmm. than 10 years before you were signed. What are some cool things that you got to do during that period of time before getting signed that nobody, like, knows about? Like, maybe you wrote for somebody or did a song <laughs> with somebody that nobody heard. Yeah, nah, uh, I wrote a, I wrote for Kevin Gates. Nobody ever heard that. But, uh, Whoa, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. It, it never came out, though. It never, it never came out. But um, I did that. I played a show with Nas. Uh, I did Red Rocks. Uh, that was It was kind of cool. I had asthma, and that didn't work out well. But, uh, <laughs> um, <Whoa. laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I'm trying to I did a lot of really cool things. Um, I don't know, like, I had a career. Like, at one point, I was in, like, like I had, I had some homies who that was, uh, they were, like, super big in EDM, and I did, like, one or two records over there. So then they just took me on tour everywhere wow. with them. So we, like, you know, I did, like, a bunch of festivals at the festivals and all sorts of stuff. Like, I, yeah, I've been outside. Yeah, <laughs> I see. What is that world like, like, the EDM world? Because I'm kind of would say I'm more, like, in the hip-hop, you know. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm more in the hip-hop. Yeah. Know? It's, it's, it's. Not for me. Uh, right, <laughs> like right. It, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. And like uh, I think the the difference between my biggest takeaway from that was the biggest the difference between uh, hip hop and EDM is like hip hop is a lot more uh, centric around the artist and you know obviously the music as well. But like they, we care about the artist and EDM they care more about the art. So mm, like right. we will get we go on stage. I can sing a song. They all know every word that I wrote and everything. Like uh -huh. they sing it with me. When I get off the stage, they have no idea who I am. Like right. they, the the DJ who I was playing with, they have no idea who he is. Like you know what I mean? It's just a lot more about the song than it is mm. about who made the song. And I was like, yeah, I don't like that. Like I, <laughs> you, got, you got a point there for sure. You definitely got a point there for sure because I went to a, um, I think it was like a Super Bowl event, like Maxim mm -hmm. had it, and their headliners were like EDM DJs. Yeah. And really, they was more vibing to, like you said, the music rather yeah. than like who was up sta on stage doing what, like going Cause crazy. Because you, you think about the environment, it's just a nonstop party. It's like, you know, if you could swap out any DJ there behind a the board, you don't mm -hmm. really, you barely even see them. It's just a nonstop party. Parties. Like, if you go to a party, like, you know, and I, and I got a burnt CD on, like, you're not right. like, damn, that's my favorite burnt CD. I want to follow that burnt <laughs> CD. Like, you you know what I'm saying? You, you just... Man, uh, burnt CD. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, so it, it, I think in, in hip-hop, it's a lot more about the artist. You The artist has a personality. The artist has, like, there's something attached to the mm -hmm. music that's a lot more than just, like, you know, I made a beat or I mean, and not, not to discredit them, but um, just like, it's a, you know, it just, we have personalities. It's and we're, true. Yeah, yeah. like... People connect more. What do you think is yeah. it about you that people connect to? Um, I'm weird, bro. Like I'm, 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 I'm beautiful. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I got Did good you? hair. Uh, <laughs> you do have really nice hair. Thank you, thank you, you thank you. I, um, yeah, I mean the, the the way I describe the way I describe my music, I call it happy hood music. It's like you know being from the hood, but still being able to find like you know going outside, looking when it's like all clouds out, and still being able to see the sun. Like you know, still having a positive outlook on like just like a negative environment. So. I think that's what helps people connect with me is like they understand me a lot more because I'm not, you know, I'm not the the, the preppy white mm -hmm. white school kid or, or anything like that. Like I'm I'm from the same neighborhood, but you know, and they they relate to me for that reason. But I went through a lot of the stuff that a lot of people went through. I did a lot of the things that a lot of people went through, but I came out on this side. You know what I mean? And I think that like that's where people relate to me is because I just give them a different outlook of like where you can land coming from where you came from. Right, um, right. That, I mean, that's at least, like, what I try to do. <laughs> no, and you're, you're very open on your social media, too. Like I said, in that same paragraph that I read, you said a year ago, at from this date, that you were in a courtroom not knowing yeah. what the heck was yeah. going to happen. So yeah. I want to ask, what happened? <sighs> we, um, we had... We, it's this. It's so, it sounds so stupid even trying to explain it. We had a house fire, uh -huh. um, and we called. I called it and called the cops. Called the whatever. Everybody get the fire trucks to come out. And they was like, "Yeah, what happened?" We was like, "I don't know. We just had a house fire." And they charged us with arson. And uh, <laughs> and it just became this whole thing. We had to go to court behind it and go to like you know. Uh, uh, they were trying to give us like criminal arson charges, and. You know, luckily, I think, you know, by the time we, it was pandemic, so by the time we made it to court, we had a black judge, like, a year later, and she was like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> like, just looking at all the details, it was like, you know, you're, like, I'm on, it just didn't make sense. Right. Just, long story short, it didn't Like, they were trying to frame y'all for something that you didn't do. Right. So, it, it just, oh, you know, it was like us against the city kind of thing. It was like, it was some dumb shit, and, uh, but it was, you know, for a while, like, it was so much that went that went down behind it. Like, my brother was in jail for it. He was, like, he was in jail for, like, two months just, you know, on some, like, stuck in limbo kind of thing while we was trying to get the court things figured out. So, uh, and then we had to go to court. And it was, you know, they was actually, like, hard pressing on it. Like, my, my lawyers was trying to, like, just get them to drop it before we even got to court. They're like, nah, we gonna get something off of this. So, um, it just became one of the things where I'm like, damn, like I did nothing, <laughs> right. and I was in a just in a tough situation where I'm like, man, like how am I in here fighting for my life for nothing? Like literally nothing happened. It's like right. you know what I mean. It's like when you get in an argument with somebody and then it turned into a fight. It turned into somebody right. somebody car got windows busted on you. Like, yo, what was we just arguing about? Like right. that was kind of how I felt. And I'm like, yo, I'm, the fact that I'm, my freedom is on the line for right. something like, like, I don't know, there wasn't even no damages. Right. <laughs> like, like, you're you know like, what I'm saying? It's, I didn't even do it. Why would I set my own home on fire? I like, live that, here. Right, that's your home. Like, where are you gonna live? Right. Like, so, so you, that yeah. So yeah. did they think you were trying to get like like insurance Couldn't, money? I rented. I was renting the house. <laughs> There's no insurance money when you rent a house. Right. You see what I'm saying? So like, yeah, that 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 whole thing was just. I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> that, no, that that like I was not expecting that. Like I don't know if you saw my reaction. Like I was I was shocked. You like I, gangster shit. That's what I thought. Cause we're looking at like, you. Like, yeah, man, I ran <laughs> down on a couple niggas. Like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Cause I'm looking at you and I'm like, you're well spoken. You yeah. dress nicely. You're clean cut. Yeah, yeah. And when I read that, I was like, what? What did he do? <laughs> like <laughs> he does not come across nah, nah, gangster nah. at all. Yeah, nah. I don't. I, I don't. I, all my little, like, if I was trying to be a little thug, I left all that in, like, middle school, high school. <laughs> middle like school? Yeah, no, we got, school. I had a rough middle school. Like, <laughs> you're from Philly, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so, Philly rough. Yeah, Philly ain't, yeah, okay. yeah. You been to Philly before? Um, no, I have not been to Philly. I've been yeah. to Chicago, though. Is that is it close? It's kind of, I never, I never yeah. did, like, a full Chicago uh -huh. experience. I have, matter of fact, there's one girl, she took me out of Chicago one time. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chicago tough, bro. Chicago, Chicago is different. I was in the good uh, area, the Lincoln Heights area. Yeah, I, I don't know the names of the areas. I went to all I know is I went to somewhere called Inglewood. Mm -hmm. I don't, and I and I found out Inglewood is the hood, Inglewood. just like yeah, in LA. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Inglewood and Inglewood is the same Inglewood. Oh so, my God. um, yeah, what, well, well, I ain't like it. I, I ain't enjoy myself. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I I love places outside of LA just to visit. I'm not going to lie. Like I What's your favorite place to visit? My favorite place to visit? I would say Atlanta. That's my Yo, favorite place to visit. I just came from Atlanta. Really? Like, like from this is my first time doing Atlanta as like an artist like like Oh, how like, was that? I went to Magic City. 
Uh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> how much money did you throw? Ah, uh, probably. Like, it, was, it was light. It was probably it was like a thousand. Light, it was like a thousand. Okay, like, but we, it was a, it was a, all one. So like the shit looked like a lot it of money. Like but yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was my first time ever going to strip club. I never went to a strip club before that. What? No, I, I was like, if I'm if I'm gonna do it, I gotta do it the right way. Right. So I had of to course. do it at Magic City. So like, now that you got to experience it, you did it. Do you see yourself like that being your thing as an artist, or you, it didn't really like tickle I'm your cheap, fancy? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Me like too. I, <laughs> <laughs> like even when we was doing it, I'm like, this is not, You're this like, ain't my type of vibe at all. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'd rather take someone on a date. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So I, I don't know, like, like I, I respected the people who do it, respected the people. I was, I was in the strip club, like, I'm over here becoming friends with the strippers. That like, <laughs> I don't know, like, I just be, you know, like, I be, I be having conversations with people, right. so we just, we start talking, um, but um, they had good wings. They, had good, they, they do. They got good lemon pepper wings. I've crazy. been there twice. In Magic City? Yeah. Yeah, they, they small as hell, though. But mm. um, then they, then we got wings from, um, what was that? I think Cascade. We went to Cascade okay. the next night. Cascade had some fire-ass lemon pepper wings. Um, yeah, that was my it was my first time doing Atlanta. Like, right. Atlanta, you know what I mean? Like, before mm-hmm. that, I, didn't, I, I went down there one time at, for A3C in, like, 2015 mm-hmm. or something. I was, mm-hmm. I was still, like, a teenager. So, um. Yeah, Atlanta turn. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a cool place to visit. Like, I was staying there for probably two months or so. Like, I was, oh, like, basically living there. That's dope. And I'm from L.A. So, I'm even though I'm, I don't live by the beach, like, you, yeah. st- the beach you can see if you're up in the hills, you can see it. I don't even yeah. notice. Like, if, yeah, you're on, yeah. if you're at Runyon, uh-huh. you can see the beach. Yeah. So, I felt very, like, claustrophobic. Like, I couldn't breathe. Because there's not Atlanta? a lot. Of, yeah, there's, it's just trees. There's no water around. So I felt like very claustrophobic. On top of that, all the clubs got hookah everywhere. You Yo, breathe everybody, smoke. Everybody, that shit stink, I'm bro. Like, I hate hookah. get away I, from I, me. I, I hate hookah. No, yeah, that, that's yeah. not. They, but you don't like the smell of trees, like, cause y'all don't got trees out here like not that. Like yeah. that. <laughs> no, I love, I love seeing them. It's not even the smell of the trees. I just felt a little claustrophobic. I don't know if it's the humidity out there that it's different because you don't get that ocean breeze. Right, right, right. I See that, but that's why I don't like LA. Like LA, I, I like, I love LA, but like the if I could have a takeaway, LA it'd be like one oh four during mm-hmm. the day and like forty at night, and it's like, yeah. like how do you dress for that? Like, I, I I don't know. Like I like <laughs> I need something that's a little more stable. Like it's a little, bipolar. Yeah, like literally like a, a couple days ago, it was like warm at night and it was like you know nice and comfortable. And then yesterday I went outside and I needed to, I needed a jacket. <laughs> like, but you, what you, is you don't happening? like humidity though. I don't like the humidity. Yeah, no, you couldn't do. Philly. I like the heat, but not humid. You couldn't do Philly. Really. Philly? Philly, for whatever reason, now when we get we get heat waves and they just it just be hot like it don't we don't go up and down like really? y'all do it just be like a high a ninety like Miami kind of. Only been to Miami one time. I could tell you, but it's fun out there. But anyway. But it's like a, it'd be like a high a ninety five, a low a ninety one. Mm. Like it just and it's like at night like yeah. like you know like two in the morning it's just ninety one degrees. It shit don't yeah. feel good at all. And I, that confuses me because everyone's like, yeah, I would would love to move to L A for the weather. I'm like, y'all are confused because her weather nah, is not. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't get the cold like how you know certain yeah, states get do snow like, that. like snow if you right. go up to the mountains you'll get it but, but that, see that's the thing about LA LA is the only place in, I feel like in the world where you can go to the mountains you can go to the hills yeah. you can go to the snow you can go to the beach and you can still just be in the city like in one place mm-hmm. <laughs> and like and all in a span like a 45 minute drive you can mm-hmm. do all of these different things like that shit is nuts to me I don't think that's I don't know like I don't think anywhere else got that yeah, I, I will say that I do take it for granted a little bit living yeah. here, you know, because it is beautiful, you know, you've got, you know, good food, healthy food, you know, the people are cool. I mean, some may, you know, debate me on that, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the people are cool for the most part, you know, if you if you run with the right circle. A yeah. friend of mine from New York, actually, we had that conversation. She was like, Kalisha, I'm just so confused because she's from New York and yeah. she's like, everyone was warning me about the people and saying this, that and the next. She's like... I guess I got lucky. She's like, all the people around me, all my friends here, she's like, I love you guys. Like, yeah. y'all are dope. And I hear, you know, the other end of things too. Like, everyone's fake in LA and this, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, mm. but I, I hear everybody fake in LA from people who live in LA. 
So, uh, <laughs> but, that, but then you know what I also hear is that people that are like transplants are the ones that are the, that are not like the real people. Like it's not really the ones that are like from LA. It be the right. transplants. It's the, yeah, the people from trying LA to act the yeah, yeah, yeah. LA because yeah, that's but, what they think. But that's LA at this point. Yeah, like, I'm, I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have my cities back. Okay, just a little bit on well, that. Where one. you from in LA? Um, so I was I lived on the outskirts of LA. So I was born in Pasadena. Okay. Just in the hospital. I never lived in Pasadena. Okay. Um, and then you, grew you up. You count that though. Huh? You count that though. Uh, should I count that? No. You okay. Should yeah. Not. I should. Okay. So I was just born. I should in the be the last person you ever there, tell okay? that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. That's on the camera. Nah, Shoot. Nah. Um. So yeah. So I was born in the hospital in Pasadena, but mm. I grew up in Duarte for a little while. I don't know and where that's at. It's. Uh, do you know where Monrovia is? Keep going. <clears throat> Arcadia. Yes. Okay, so Arcadia is where I went to high school. Got you. Okay, okay. I went to Arcadia High, and then I went to Walnut High. Are you familiar with Walnut? Mount Sac is like a very popular uh, community college. This is like if, if West Hollywood is right here, this is all like on this that side. That is it. So where I lived is east, like West Covina, yeah, like out that way. Diamond toward, Bar. Yes, like yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I grew up on, that's why I say the outskirts. Got you. Because I don't you. like to claim LA because people will get mad. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You, you said you was from LA though. Because no one knows what a walnut is. Yeah, I, mean, I know what a walnut is. <laughs> you know, like the nut, but like yeah. the city, people are going to be like, what is that? Right, like, right, right. When I say walnut, people think Walnut Creek up north. I don't even know. I don't even think of that. I don't... Do you plan on moving to L.A.? Because you got you to gotta learn these things. Yeah, apparently. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, like, I, know, I know the places that's important for me is like downtown. I know the valley. West Hollywood. I know yeah, Hollywood. West Hollywood, obviously, mm-hmm. and then Santa Monica, and then like... Ocean City, like not Ocean City, uh, uh, what, uh, Oceanside? No, what's no? OC? What is the stand oh, for? Oh, Orange, Orange County. Orange County, Orange yeah, County. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's Ocean City. That's, that's <laughs> There's an Oceanside near San Diego. No, 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 not that, not that. <laughs> but yeah, I know, and I know Orange County. I, I used to deal with some girl out of Orange County. Okay. Um, that didn't go well. Go I was gonna ask, so what happened? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Orange, it's, it's funny because you know, California is so big and we have so many different cities, and you'll realize as you know, if you move out here or whatever, mm-hmm. as you know, to talk with that girl, everybody in different cities, like, are different like people from LA are like their own type of people people from Orange County are their own type of people you yeah, got people yeah, yeah. from the valley like they're different yeah. like it's not like if you go to Philly or you go to other places like it's like okay you could tell like you from Atlanta are you from Philly right, 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 everyone yeah, yeah. in Cali like is different acts different like yeah. even people from LA talk like different like they have right. their own accent mm-hmm. out there like is, yeah. the, is it like that in Philly too uh, I mean I think everybody in Philly just kind of talk like we from Philly you right. know what I'm saying? But but uh trying to think like we got certain words that like mm-hmm. certain areas might say and certain other areas might not say shit like that. Like uh, uh like I know South Philly a long time ago they used to put ski at the end of things. Um like okay. like I, I, can't I did that, hear about that, that little yeah. wave. I like, did like there yeah, there was yeah. but we all got like and then like I, I remember when I was in high school, like uh all the North Philly niggas I knew they all used to say they they would say I'm trying to think of some weird shit that they would say. <laughs> like they used to say burger. Like for, for if something was bad, uh-huh. like or they didn't like some shit, like they're like, yeah, that's your burger. And burger. Like, like, but it didn't Where make did no or like or like or if, if a girl was ugly, they call it meat. Like oh she meat. Like she okay. like I don't, I don't know, but it's yeah. it just be random shit like that. Like depending on where you at in Philly, you'll hear some some old goofy ass lingo. Yeah, I um, guess every like state has their own like lingo obviously like i learned today i was watching an interview with van the new show that he has and the co-host don't hate me i don't know her name but the co-host she said that she called someone a bop like a woman a bop uh but bop doesn't necessarily mean like ho like bop mean like you know oh they bopping over there or she bopping with the with the athletes or she bopping Uh with the you know with the actors or the rappers like it doesn't necessarily mean ho but in la if you would say oh she's a bop that means she's a ho like that yg song she a bop Uh so like every you got to be careful you know (laughs) you got to be careful the words that you use but see the thing is i used to think that well like in philly it's so close. Everything like well on the East Coast, a lot of that stuff is so much closer than it is over here. Like you, you know, you could drive for eight hours and still be in California. Um, and when I was dealing with the girl in North County, I used to like I was living out here at the time, mm-hmm. and I used to get we get into arguments and shit like that. And I'd be like, man, fuck you, I hate you, I'm leaving. And like she in Orange County, <laughs> <laughs> and the drive home is like yeah. an hour long. I, I would just look at the Uber prices and I'm like, cause, cause that, that's the thing. I feel like you don't know a city until you broke in that city. Oh, yeah. Like, like until you, until you, that's when you find out all the little cool spots and shit to hang out at. Like, mm-hmm. so 
I'm broke as hell at the time. Mm -hmm. And we get into an argument. I'm like, man, fuck you. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. And I pack all my bags. I look at the Uber price. It's like 175 so, Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm staying. Right, yeah, right, you sure you don't want to talk about this? Like, <laughs> that shit was bad. Oh, my gosh. So would you say that would be, like, one of the most toxic situations you've dealt with? Uh, yeah. And you weren't even with her with her like that? No, we was. We was oh, you was together we, together. We, we, was, we was in it. She got, yeah, she, um, um. She man, she kind me, bro. She like <laughs> she, cause, cause that, that's what I'm saying. Like I got this, I got this phrase. Me and me and my homies, we always said this is like high school. Like if you say some shit, that even if I don't want to do it, like you're like, yo, do 20 push-ups, and I don't even feel like doing 20 push-ups. Mm -hmm. We'll be like, I ain't no bitch, and they like, so right. we'll just do it. So so she, um, I just remember we was all hanging out one day. She hung out with us for like a whole weekend, like a whole weekend straight. And at the end of it, she was like, yeah, um, like I, I'm over here flirting, like just like fake flirting or whatever, saying mm -hmm. little cute shit. And um, she like, you know, we don't want me to be your girlfriend. I'm like, yes, I do. You be, you be girlfriend, like da, da, da. And she like, if you was, she said, I said, how you, why you figure that? She like, well, if you wanted me to be your girlfriend, you would have said it by now. Oh, she I'm got like, you. Well, shit, you my girlfriend. Like, what's up? Like, I ain't no bitch here. And, and like, she was like, all right, bet. Then we like did a little kiss hug, whatever. I left, and I was like, why the fuck did I just do that? Oh, <laughs> my God. And, and and yeah, no, nah, that was it was it was downhill the whole from from the start. Yeah. <laughs> so what what was y'all signs? Because I'm like super into that. Uh, you don't know what was I her birthday? Know. June something. Oh, she might have been a cancer. Might have been a cancer. And then what? I keep finding my I find myself a cancer girl. Really? Like, what's your sign? Can you guess? Hmm. The past two people got it right. Really? Yeah. The past two people that asked you, I signed with the got pressure it right. on me. I, I don't know how y'all know, but the past <sighs> two people got it right. Are you a Sagittarius? No. Hmm. You're doing bad. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll do three. <laughs> do three? Okay. Scorpio. No. Why'd you have to think about it? <laughs> because I'll, t I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Um, Libra? Bad. Okay, yeah. The reason I had to think about it because I was trying to figure out where Scorpio is. Oh, okay. I don't know shit about signs. I don't believe in them. But I was trying to figure out where. It's where, where in the month? Because Scorpio is October. Yeah, around October. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. November. I'm I'm a September Libra though. Like I'm oh, I'm like early in. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, My saying. grandfather was a Libra. What, what, cool. What's his birthday? His birthday was October. October. No, fifteenth. What's your what's your, what's your sign? Um, oh, guess. You gotta guess now. I don't know. Uh, Pisces? Mm -mm. No. Aries. Mm -mm. I just like I like the word Aries. It just looks cool. <laughs> uh, Sagittarius? No. What is it? I'm a Virgo. You see, you're right around me. Uh -huh. You're September. August. Oh, August twenty third. I'm, 23rd, a, I'm a dickhead. Day. You just said your birthday was coming up in a uh -huh. month, or uh, is this, this month? month? Is yeah. this month? Why did I? I mean, I'm fried, bro. On the like, first I, day, though, <laughs> I, like, I literally just missed, like, Leo. I when when is it? it? Leo's last day is the 22nd of uh, August. When's yours? August 23rd. 23rd. Gosh, what yeah. you know about your birthday? I don't even know. I'm supposed to go to Greece. I don't know, but nothing's booked yet. Which part, what part of Greece? Uh, I want to go the everywhere. The one that everybody going with it. With the Santorini, Mykonos, Athens. Mykonos, I, don't, I never know how to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, everyone yeah. goes, but I'm actually half Greek. So yeah. I know oh, I don't look okay. like it, but yes, I'm I don't know what Greek people look like, but they look like yeah. white people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like um, but yeah, I want to go to the smaller islands where my grandparents are from. Yeah. So Mitilini and Kefalonia and Lesbos. I want to go there. I ain't know those words, don't you? Yeah. I, ain't, I know what you I just speak. Said. I speak Greek, so you I speak can Greek? say with the accent. Yeah. Tikaynis, pospas, kalaisis. And what does that mean? I said, "How are you? How's it going? Are you good?" Does your family speak Greek? My mom does. She like to me. you, mm -hmm. just. Yes. Like if my mom doesn't want people in, like understanding like what we're saying, she'll like speak to me in Greek and like cuss me out in Greek, you know? <laughs> all types of stuff. That's or if she tough. like wants to tell me something, she want, doesn't want her husband to know what she's saying. That's <laughs> tough. What's your what's your full background? So you're Greek. So and, yeah, so I'm Greek. My mom was born in Australia though, so I'm a dual citizen okay. in the U.S. That's and Australia. Tough. And my dad was born in Sri Lanka, but moved hey. out here when he was 16. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And I guess we got a little Portuguese in us. And I think we have, like, some kind of Asian, although Sri Lanka's in Asia, but I mean, like, some kind of, like, Thai or something. My grandfather looked very Asian, like Filipino or something. I'm so jealous. Why? You don't, I don't know your know background? I shit about that. Do nah. 23 and me. I, then, then somebody tell me that they be like, do it. they be they be they be selling your blood samples or some nah. shit like that. Oh my god! Please. I be I be into my conspiracies. I be into my sell conspiracies. your DNA. <laughs> yeah, I don't know shit about shit. Like, but I mean, even even if I found out something, it's not like it's actually applicable. Like in in my like 
current life. Like it's not like what do you mom. Mean? Like my mom don't speak another language or no shit like that. Like, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Like we, you know, my, like the the most the most cultural thing I got going on is my grandpa got a ponytail. That's it. Like, <laughs> that's why he got good hair. Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe. I don't know. He got this slick ass ponytail, just perm like a motherfucker too. Really? Like, yeah. <laughs> is he still here with us? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still got his ponytail. Wait, he don't got so no he hair up here no more. Forever. Like this shit is gone. Oh, okay. But like the ponytail. Is that why he's covering yours? Like, is yours gone up there too? Yeah, though? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, so they, they got some new scam shit going on, but like I don't know. I, like I don't know. They I guess they call you and be like, yo, I'm in jail. I need money over the, and, and like yo, the bail money set this much. Can you like can what? you wire me the money or some some shit? I don't know. All I know is he called me like a month or two ago. He was like, Monty. I'm like, what's up, Grandpa Lee? He said. Where you at? I was like, I'm in my room. He said, You you're not in jail, are you? I said, Oh, they tried to get in. I said, nigga, you just called my cell phone. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> like no, I'm in my room. Yeah, not, not my cell room. Like, I'm in my room. <laughs> he said, Yeah, no, somebody just called me and said that you was you you was in jail in Atlantic City oh for a DUI God. or some shit. I said, Grandpa, they don't have a car. <laughs> right, right. So yeah, nah, they they got this new scan. That shit fly though. If they if they emulating voices or something, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, my grandpa still got a ponytail. That's though. crazy. So you mentioned, I want to bring this up, because you mentioned a couple times, like, you didn't have a car, you were living out here, you didn't have yeah. a car, and you were renting a place. I want to kind of dig into, because now mm -hmm. it seems like you, it's the typical, like, come from nothing, now you're doing this. Tell us about that part of your life. I had a, um, I had a Nissan Versa in 2015. Mm-hmm. And it had like the brakes was faulty on it or some shit like that. But it, uh, one day it was like a hurricane. I was driving home, it spun out, crash, boom. Um, oh. And uh, uh, I have not had a car since then. Like, really? That was it. I haven't had a car since 2015. But I last year I ordered a Tesla, mm -hmm. like okay. as like a little gift to myself. Shit still has not come. Uh, <laughs> I have to my friend too. Like, yeah, that yeah. shit. It was supposed to come in April. Right now, it's saying like November or some stupid oh shit like that. My so, God. Uh, yeah, like I, I should have a car right now. Right, right. <laughs> but, um, but that keeps you kind of humble in a way. Yeah. What do you think? Nah, no? like, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I want a car now. Like, I, I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So, so I, uh, I don't know. Like, like right now, it's, it's definitely the in, the in the chronicles of came from nothing. Like, yeah. I, I wish I knew. I mean, I knew this was happening. I knew this, all this stuff was happening. I knew like it might have happened fast, but I wish I knew that some of the things I was doing, like this is the last time I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. This is the last time I can go to the Chinese store. This is the last time I can mm -hmm. take public transportation in Philly. This is the last time. Like, mm -hmm. I wish I knew that because I would have been, doing I'd have so been on that bitch with new clothes right. on. Like, I mean, I'd, I'd have had fun a little bit. Like, <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? So like now, uh, uh, things have pivoted. Like, I, I'm, I'm about to whenever this. Car comes maybe 2024. I don't know, but like yeah, I'm going to get right. a car. 2025, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get a car, but as of right now, I'm cool with doing the. I do. I just Uber, Uber everywhere. Yeah. yeah, I just Uber yeah. Any, any possible place I need to go. Okay. Like as long as they exist, I'm good. I got this little thing called a one wheel. It's what like is a, that? It's this big ass wheel in the middle. It's like a skateboard, but it's a big oh, ass I've wheel in the middle. You know what I'm talking about? Is that hard to ride? Yo, I be. I, I fuck my ankle <laughs> up. <laughs> the first time I did it, I fucked my ankle up, but um, but I'm nice at it now. Like, okay. I'm, I'm one of the ones. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't have no balance or coordination, so I don't think Man, I, I'd see, do too if well. If it wasn't, it's like 60 pounds or some shit. Otherwise, I would have put it in my luggage. I would have let you ride oh, it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I, I would have been fun, but you might need to hold me while yeah, yeah. I'm riding. <laughs> no, I, I got you. That shit. Shit. <laughs> That's my shit, though. Like, But even that, like, I, I, I used to ride that all throughout the city and yeah. shit. Now I'm like, I was riding the other day. I had my headphones on. Mm -hmm. I, I listen to a lot. I got like, set playlists I play when I'm on it. I, but I one headphone off. Yo, Armani. I said, damn. But, uh, another another time riding, I'm going to get some food. Right. It's late night, so I'm thinking right. like, ain't nobody worried about me. Somebody pull the car over, spin off. They jump out. Yo, Glock Tuck big t-shirt, Billy. I, I'm oh like, oh my gosh, oh, man. It's <laughs> happening, man. It's happening. Yeah, yeah. It is so, really happening. So like that's that's kind of like now it's like okay. I gotta move out of Philly. I just moved out of my apartment. Um, um, I don't know if you saying, I was dealing with a whole bunch of shit with that apartment. Um, I just moved out of the hood, um, gave my mom all that money, and um, you know, and now I haven't been home to even find an apartment or find a house oh or anything. Like so I you're even, staying in Philly? Um, I don't know. I might be coming to LA. Walnut. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> West Covina. Fast yeah, I might be in West Covina. Like, I mean, o o OC or some shit. Like, who knows? I might I might hit the joint. I'll okay. see if I can stay at her crib. <laughs> hey, look, I don't know if you want to go back to that. No, 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 no. I don't know. 
that that's funny. We got money now. Tricked you. <laughs> funny. She tricked you. You know, actually, it was a, a, a new friend of mine. She was telling me that she got tricked into a relationship. You know, see, the, the thing is, right? It was the double standard that, that was fucking me up, right? There was a um, there was a moment where like uh, our relationship got really rocky because everything was like really good, but then. She went through my phone and found old messages. Oh. Like messages before I even started dealing with her. She started, yeah. she found old messages and she turned it into a whole thing. So really? it turned into like this whole, I don't trust you, I don't trust you thing. And like, I was living in Philly. So she's like, I can't, like, I can't trust you living in Philly and I'm still in LA and I don't know what oh, you're doing. But if you don't answer the phone anytime that I call, I think you're doing this or that. So one day I'm like, in my, I'm in my head, I'm like, man, you know what? How do I make this girl feel appreciated? How I be a man? How I step mm-hmm. up? All that dumb shit. Mm-hmm. So I send her this really long message. It's like 5 a.m. in Philly, so it's like 2 a.m. over there. I send this really long message. And I'm like, you know, I hope like, hope when you read this, when you wake up, you feel like you love, appreciated, blah, blah, blah. And she like, I'm awake. I said, what you doing awake? Like, what you? She was like, I just left one oak. Uh, we <laughs> and she like we at we, it was some place some store that she said she was at and I'm like damn what, what you doing what you doing at that store she like oh yeah I'm 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 uh, I'm in the back of it right now I'm chilling with the homies uh uh I don't even want to say the celebrity she said such and such is here uh-huh. and he keep looking at me and he trying to get my number he be trying all night I said bitch you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm I like, right. if you don't take your ass home right now, right. I'm looking up flights and shit. Like, right. <laughs> but yeah, but it was it was the double standard. It was like I was going through so many mm-hmm. motions of like, yo, you can't do this, or I don't trust you, can't do that, or mm-hmm. I don't trust you. Answer the phone, or I don't trust you. I bought the girl a dog. Uh, oh <laughs> I, I bought the girl a dog. She tried to lose, she tried to get rid of it one day. Uh, she like, <laughs> left it on the side of the road. It was bad. It was okay, bad. You know not to have kids with that one. Yeah, okay. yeah, right, right. So. Oh um, I don't know, yeah. That, that, uh, like you said, it was definitely my most toxic situation. We had fun, but... Uh, yeah, don't, don't, go, don't go stay at her house. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Don't go stay at her That's house. Y'all can be cool. Are y'all cool now? No. No, 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 no. no Do you no, stay no, friends no. with your exes? Yeah, except for that just one. Except for-, <laughs> except for that one. All of my exes, I'm cool with. All of them. I, like... Yeah, we yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, they my dogs, but, like, it's just her. Oh, my God. She, she was a wild Did you get card. the dog back? Nah, it was over. Like, yeah. like the so I have because you know you know when you go to festivals sometimes backstage and they got like the little dogs yeah, you can play yeah, with. Yeah. One was just like biting at me and shit. And I'm oh like, yeah, I'm yeah, like, damn, this dog cute as hell. Like she was like, yeah, it's only three hundred dollars. I had I was playing a festival, so a lot of this thing I do. In fact, this is game for any artist that's listening. Um, <laughs> they Listen give up. you they give you the comp tickets. Like uh-huh. yo, you know, like you you come and they give you ten comp tickets, ten wristbands right, or whatever. Right, right. I was going on Twitter. Like yo, who need wristbands? <laughs> and you was slinging them. I was bags. slinging. The, I was slinging my extra <laughs> joints. I was getting like four hundred of wristbands, five hundred of wristbands, some shit like that. Oh so I had, I came up twenty five hundred off this off this festival that we was know, playing that's at, right. and they was like, this dog is three hundred dollars. I said, well, shit, nigga, like, give me the dog. Like, yeah, <laughs> so you know, what I'll I'm saying? take it home. Right, right. So now I get this dog. Um, I was, I was like, I, like I was still halfway back and forth from between LA and Philly, and I was like, nah, I, like I can't keep taking this dog to different Airbnbs and right. shit. So I fly it out to LA, um, or I, I gave it to her. She flies it out to LA. It's like a little surprise for her. But once we split, one day the uh, the like adoption center that I got the dog from, they call me and they're like, hey, we just wanted to let you know we found your dog. I said, I ain't know the motherfucker was lost. Right. <laughs> and so he's like, yeah, it was left, left on the side of the road. Somebody picked it up. And, you know, and they called the, the number on his keychain and some shit like that. I'm like, damn, bro, she got lost on that dude. Oh like, she, yeah. <laughs> like, That's yeah. like a character thing. Why yeah, would you? I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I guess it reminded her of me. I, I don't know. Oh, but my yeah. God. Yeah, well, good thing you escaped that one because yeah, I hope that dog. What if she doing left good, your baby man. on the side yeah, of the Yeah, right. That's my little dude, man. And he, he, only, he only had him for like four months. He's big as shit and he's like Scooby Doo size. Like, oh what kind of dog was it? A chocolate lab. Oh, those are cute. It was cute as hell. Oh, was cute. My uh, his name was Midas. It was the Midas white. What, what did that, that what, did it have a meaning behind it? Midas? No, nah, like Midas. It like sounds, sounds Greek. Like, like the, uh, yeah, it's, it's the guy that touched everything and turned into gold. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm yeah, we just that. named it Midas, but Midas, yeah, Midas is just going. I don't know what the fuck Midas doing right now. He might even might not even be named Midas no more. Oh my god, your name is Samuel or some shit. So you didn't want to like take it back and take it home? I was in Philly. For it. But yeah, you could fly back. No, no. I was, but it's just the thing. I was still like, 
at that point, I was like on the road doing a bunch of mm-hmm. shit. I didn't even have like a crib. I was just like Airbnb, Airbnb, Airbnb. Got so it. I was like, I'm not about to. Be you were like, focused on you. Yeah, music, like I'm in the studio all thing, day sometimes. Yeah. Like I can't be walking this motherfucker. It's like having like, a and kid. Them. Yeah, and then that's the thing about dogs. They never, they're like the kids that never grow up. Like after 18 years, you still doing this shit with this yeah. dog. Um, and I know it's like a big ass dog culture. Like people love their dog. And I, I grew up with dogs. Like my whole life, my dad a bunch of dogs. But it's a responsibility. I, just, I was about to say, I just know the responsibility mm-hmm. of it. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I can't. Yeah. I got too much shit going on. Yeah, you're me. like me, me, yeah. me. I can't music, even have. I can't me, even me. have kids right now. I was gonna ask, like, do, you, do you, you know kids? <laughs> like, you know, it's the thing. Like, it's one of the things where like you want it, but um, in reality, it's like at what point can I have a kid? Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. Where, where does that fit in? I'm going on tour. Where does that fit mm-hmm. in? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and I don't want to be that person that like leave with my grandma or leave with my right. mom and, and the grandma raises it or or the, yeah. the, it's just like the the mom raises it and then say something happened between me and her and then she's like yeah fuck my dad like you mm-hmm. know what I mean I, I just like mm-hmm. ah, right, and they right, want to make sure it's the right person too can't forget about that yeah, 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 yeah. I, sure. I guess I just completely overlooked that huh yeah, just, like, <laughs> right yeah yeah, yeah. Just focus on not having time for the kid <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> no Definitely I mean it's important because right you don't want you know another Another girl like her leaving your baby. Leaving on the side my baby on the, on the side of the road is just, nuts, bro. You know, just saying. <laughs> That'd be just nuts. Saying. Um, but I want to jump more and deep, d- dive deeper into yeah. the music just a little bit. We've mm-hmm. been talking about a lot of fun stuff, but you brought up your single, Billie Eilish. That mm-hmm. is going crazy. 45 million plus streams, 5 million views on YouTube. It's going insane. And then yeah. by the time people see this interview, you'll have another single out called yeah. Diamond, Diamond Dallas. Dallas. Yes. That'll be out. So tell us a little bit about Billie Eilish that nobody knows about. Maybe... I don't know anything that no one knows about, and then also let's talk about Diamond Dallas real quick. Um, there, what, what can I say that no one knows about? Because it's a super viral song, so viral a lot of people know the, a lot about it. Yeah, yeah. The sample clearing process was yeah. a pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> um, uh uh-huh. that, that was a super pain in the ass. But uh, yeah, I mean like that that record. That, that, you know, I, I try not to be super meticulous. I try not to overthink things nowadays. Um, that record took me in total maybe 37 minutes to make. What? Uh, yeah, <laughs> like and that's I'm it talking about like be those ones, 37 man. minutes from the from the time of like me making it to the studio, dabbing niggas up, yo yo, uh-huh. recording, waiting for my Uber to get out of there, and like that was wow. an entirety of. Where did like, the idea come from? Obvi- Billy Eilish, obviously. I mean, yeah, she just wears a big. It was yeah. this, it was it was this uh, a tweet one day I, I read it and it was like, man, I never heard a Billy Eilish song, but I'm a fan because she dressed like them franchise boys, and I was like, yo. That's funny as shit. <laughs> and so I had I seen that tweet and I was like, you know, I just wanted to kind of make that song. Like we had the the beat, which is like about like two, it's like a 2002 sample. Um, she dressed like you know like with a very 2002 s style. So it's like you know it's a perfect marriage. We just kind of I put the two ideas together mm-hmm. and then came up with that record. That's dope. You know? That's dope. So man, everything is moving fast. Like I said for you, yeah. from the music going viral to what you're doing going viral, just <laughs> doing things with your mother. Yeah. Um, to the music, to new music coming, and you know people are you know starting to you know get familiar with you and learn who you are, yeah. and you know your your fan base is only gonna you know continue to grow and you're not gonna be able to go to the target out in la either right, very, right. very 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 that, soon that, that's gonna be nuts when that shit start happening when it's in la right now it's philly but like when it start going in different cities yeah. i'm like damn they, they know me like that shit gonna exactly. be crazy exactly so but i've always said this to you know friends and friends of mine that are celebrities when you see someone on social media or you see them you know walking around the street and you know that you know they're a celebrity everyone always has this like concept of like who they are, how they're gonna act. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like when I looked at looked at your social media, like the pictures you take, you seem like super fun and like you yeah, know yeah. outgoing, and yeah. you know I kind of like expected that. But like sitting down with you, I'm like he's very well spoken. He's not like nah, super goofy. I'm like- super goofy. <laughs> I'm, I'm super goofy. I'm super fun. Super outgoing. I'm tired. <laughs> I feel you because you've tired. been moving around yeah, yeah, all yeah. day. So I can't like like I'm I'm not. Mm-hmm. Any like I, I might have said Indian. Chips. Usually I would have said Indian style, but uh, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but I was like, nah, let me you know, let me fall, but let me chill a little bit. That. Like I, uh, I uh, so yeah, nah. I mean, but th- th- I'm glad you can get who a perception of who I am from social media because yeah. they used to think they used to think I was earthy. Like they used really? to think I was one of them dudes. Because the hair. There. Yeah, yeah, like like they thought I was in the crystals and shit like that. Like I, and I had a tumbler <laughs> because I owned it. I had a tumbler. They thought yeah. I was like. 
I'm like, nah, I can't That's be. That can't be further from. I don't even believe in horoscopes. Like, I, is, there, <laughs> is there like an like a rumor that you ever heard about yourself, and you're like, that's not true. Like, I'm not that way. I'm not like that. Um, it was the. I think the earthy thing. The, the. Nah, well, I mean, it was, and it's not. It's not like a rumor. That's like some some going around where I'm like, mm-hmm. ooh, like that's. Yeah. It, it just really like they definitely thought I was earthy. Uh, a lot of people thought I would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's dope. Um, rolling Loud, you're gonna be performing in September. Is that your first Rolling Loud? Yes. Oh yes, my God, yes, are you excited? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, I'm, how I'm, are you um, feeling? Like, are you like shaking inside? Are you I, I, used to it? Nah, I mean, I'm, I'm used to performing, obviously, yeah. but like Rolling Loud is, it's, Rolling Loud is one of the things where it's like kind of like the internet in real life. So like, I'm, I just want to make sure like the way we cater to set. And then plus it's my birthday weekend. So like, I oh want to make God. sure Yay. whatever we do to cater to set, like it's just, it's fun the entire mm-hmm. time. It's turned up the entire time. It's just super energetic. And we do something that's just like memorable. Yeah. Like whether it be like a viral moment or some shit that just like lives on the internet or whatever. It's just like, mm-hmm. we want to do something that just like, we just, you know, like that, right. that, that legacy lives on. So I'm excited. I'm really excited for it. What do you want your legacy to be? That's a, Yo, that's the a thing question. is, and like, and like, Three to five years, like I want to be to the point, like I, I walk out on the stage, I take my scarf off, throw it out in the crowd, <laughs> girls jump and grab it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> I want to be that. I want to be like Prince. Like I like I want to. I want to have somebody come out, bring a mirror out. I just like they somebody else fix me up and shit like that. I'm serious. Like you just when remember I this. Stage, you up. Remember this when this happened and I come I out like that, that guy. Like I because that's you. that's exactly how I want to be. Like I want to be perceived like on some larger than life. Like I want. I want these scarves to be like, you know what I mean? The thing, like, everyone's gonna be wearing. Yeah, I want everyone like the same way like when, when X had everybody dying like a little small patch. Of this, you like, know oh, what it. you should do? You should get like fake hair and like sew it to Where bandanas and like <laughs> sell them as your merch, and then all your fans can look like you. Yo, the fake the fake <laughs> hair is wild. I could do the merch. We could definitely do the merch scarves. The but merch you gotta scarf, add the hair. The merch scarves is coming. You gotta now. add the hair to the scarves. No. Yes. No. Yes. Hair. Just like people were dr- dressing like Prince and doing their hair like Prince. I think that shit is weird. Like really? when, when, like, like when you, when you <laughs> totally attach, joking. no, when, when you attach shit to like, like remember, remember when people, when they, when they started making shirts that was like a long sleeve oh, under it and yeah, it, like you yeah, just yeah, pull it back short. and it just be stitched yeah. together. Like, like I, I like that shit is gross, bro. Just put two shirts together. What the fuck is you doing? Like, <laughs> I'm totally kidding. No, I know. But I know. the scarves yeah. is a cool idea. I would like yeah. that. You know, what yeah. else, what else I'll you do about for merch? Um, more to like, I'm a, I'm definitely, I'm a sweatshirt type of person. Okay. I'm a definitely a sweatshirt. I don't know what I'm dressing like I'm going to I like that. It's like a towel texture. It's definitely a towel. I this like that. The, I think I made this. You're not <laughs> hot at night. It's like 95 degrees outside. Yeah, I got my arms out. It's sad. <laughs> yo, the crazy thing was, yo, before Billy Eilish, I was like on some nonstop gym shit. I got my six, first six pack of my life. Okay. I like, like, oh, I was right. like ripping through my t-shirts that's and shit like that. Like I was putting up 250 in the gym on a bench press. <laughs> Boy, all that shit is gone. <laughs> what happened? You just started eating good? Billie Eilish happened. Like, I just don't be having no time to, like, yeah. go to the gym or, like, run or do any of this shit that I be doing. Like, I, and, and it's all it's all good problems. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, man, I was about to be the rock, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, I was about to get... You're like, okay, I'm glad I slowed down. Yeah, now. yeah. They don't, don't like being that, like, biff buff type. You said I don't like yeah, it? Do you like it or you don't Hell like it? Hell yeah, what? Oh, like, <laughs> go back to the gym. I don't have time to, though. That's the thing. Like, I was trying, because I was like, yo, I'm finally, I finally got a man chest. Mm-hmm. I can make it, like, do the Terry Crews thing where, like, jump oh and shit like that. God. Like, I was doing all that shit. I was just, <laughs> I would, like, I would wake up earlier just so I could sit in the mirror mm-hmm. and do that shit. You just funny. Just make it fucking, like... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I, and now you're this shit. You become obsessed with yourself. That's why God took it away I, from you. I love me. Like, <laughs> you took the time away. Right. Like, nope. Right, nope, right, right. We're going to stop you right there. Man, but listen, you, your time is uh, going to be very, very limited again because you got a new single coming out. Yes, Diamond Dazzler right. is saying. Yeah, yeah. And I already know that's going to go crazy. Yeah, and what definitely. can people expect it to be similar to Billie Eilish? Is it yeah, I made, I, made them, I made those two records kind of. I, I had to follow up with that because I made those two records uh, more or less in the same time mm-hmm. frame. Um, and it was, you know, like it's, t- this record is really just like a celebration of everything that's going on. Like in like two years and 10 years, five years, like I want people to be like, yo, remember he signed the, Don- he signed the Def Jam, he gave his mom a hundred thousand mm-hmm. and he put this song out as the soundtrack of that entire moment. I guess I kind of want Diamond Dallas to be remembered yeah. in the future. It's like, yo, this was the soundtrack to like the, you know, the breaking point of like, yo, I did it like this for this long, but now I'm 
a star. And yeah. this is like the moment that you, you know, remember. It's a it. big like, moment. Yeah. So it's, it's a sound, it's a soundtrack moment. to celebration. Like it's a, I love you know. It. I love it. Well, <laughs> celebration, August 5th, which you guys are going to see this. August 5th is going to be passed. So the song is out now. We're just going to say the song it's, is out now. The song is out now. By it's the time amazing. y'all see this. <laughs> 100 million streams first day. Manifestation. <laughs> Manifestation. I love this. And I think you're really good at that. You know, thank you, you thank from you. when yeah. you started from high school, you oh. said, I'm setting out to do this and I'm going to do this and look at you. How long do you think it's going to take for Billie Eilish to get 100 million streams? Billy, you mean Diamond yeah. Dallas? No, oh, no, Billie Eilish, Billie Eilish. How long do I think? Because you're mm. already past 45. Mm-hmm. How long has the song been out exactly? Two months. Two months, Billie That's Eilish. Crazy. Two months. That's crazy. Two months is fucking nuts. I'll, <laughs> give it, I'll give it another three weeks. Three weeks to get 100 mil? Mm-hmm. Man, you talking some talk. I ain't going to lie. I think, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think three weeks because if you think about it, you know, you put that song out. It's been two months. People were just getting familiar with it because, of yes. course, that's a slow grow in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then it sped up. I think, yeah. Yo, if it do, if it do 100 mil. Yeah, that's, you think about so, it across all platforms. That's right, the thing because, yeah. like, I, I've been, like, I've been so <laughs> running gun, so running gun, running gun. Like, I know when it gets to that point of, like, um, my first gold plaque, my first mm-hmm. just any plaque, like, I... I think I'm going to cry. I'm going <laughs> to let some thug tears let out. let it out. Yeah, Happy I'm tears. Hey, man, like Happy I work tears. for this, bro. Like, hey, yeah. Oh, like one did, of them. Because of the song is titled Billie Eilish, did you get a lot of her, like, fans, too? Oh, yeah, it was. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All of her fan base, that was the ones that was, right. like, really helping push it before it, like, really started to That's catch on. Um, they was They was going crazy for it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Mm-hmm. That, that was the first, like, little video. Some video of, like, her jumping out the stage and shit that went viral. That was the first thing that got, like, five million views or some shit like that. That's insane. Well, I'm so happy for you. Thank I you. love your energy. You Thank just come you. off so genuine and you're fun to talk to. Like, I went off track from some of the questions. Did you put this <laughs> bottle next to me because it matched me a little bit? Well, you know, I put these bottles here because one is for you. So uh, One yeah, is for me? One is for you. I can take this? You could take with whatever lying. whichever one you want. Yeah. You're lying. I'm serious. I can take this? Yes. 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 Shout out to Bel Air. Yeah. yeah. I can ship you a whole box too if you want. Yeah. yeah. Do that. I got you. I got you. you That's your fucking gift nuts. To go home and I just want to thank you for coming. You wasn't even going to tell me that if I ain't asked. No, oh I was going to wait till we did it off camera. I didn't want to be like, here's your gift, but right. you asked. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you. Is pink your favorite color or something? Nah, baby blue is my favorite color. It's just oh, blue in general. I should have brought the blue one. I'll have you got a blue one? They have blue bottles. Ship me the blue ones. Okay. Ship me okay. the blue ones. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, send, I'll have them send you the blue box. I, I, not to be creepy, but I'm going to need your shipping address. You don't have to yeah. like, give me Nah, I got you. I got you. I got you. But yeah, so I'm going to give you my grandma's address. <laughs> <laughs> you know, off camera. We're not putting no address. Right, right, right. But again, thank you so much. Thank it's you been so a much pleasure. It's been so much fun. Armani White, Armani Blanco. Big Blanco. Make sure you guys go stream that Billie Eilish. Stream that Diamond Dallas. Diamonds Dallas? Diamond Dallas. Diamond Dallas. Stream that. Go download that, purchase it, and let's <laughs> get it up on the charts, baby. Let's go. Yes, 100, 100 million streams. Billy Eilish, three weeks. 100 million streams. Three weeks. Three weeks. Counting from right. when this drops. Exactly. Bet. Okay. That's a wrap, baby. The playlist. My name's Kalisha. Again, Armani White. Big and we Blanco. out.